All right, this morning, let's look at debugging the replication error. The row was not found at the subscriber when applying the replicated command, okay? So first, let's just understand the logic of what's happening here. Imagine that we have, of course, in, in transactional replication or snapshot replication, we have a publisher, a subscriber, and then, of course, we have the distribution database. Keep in mind that replication is not just a publisher going to a subscriber. There is a throttler called the distribution database that's between that, right? So if we insert data, let's say, where the ID is 1 from the publisher to the subscriber, then the subscriber is going to also have an ID of 1. Now, imagine a scenario in which we, the publisher is supposed to be sending a record that has the ID of 1. However, that record never gets to the subscriber. A good example of why not is maybe there was... Um, maybe the the transaction timed out so it never received that and it just moved on okay all right well let's think about that for a second if the id of one is not at the subscriber but it's at the publisher what happens when the publisher then sends uh, a command to update id of one and it's not at the subscriber so as you see the row was not found at the subscriber when applying the replicated command and that would happen as well with a delete um, any transaction that occurs with a record that's not at the subscriber but is at the publisher means somewhere the publisher missynced with the subscriber. Okay, so there's only two solutions um, to this that I'm aware of, um, which is number one, you can run a t the table diff utility, which is on the it's more than likely going to be on the uh, the distribution server or any server that has replication installed. You will find the table diff. It's table diff.exe. You can run that utility. That's one solution. There's, by the way, also a lot of uh, software that's built around that, but what it's really built around, I think one of them is Redgate, but maybe not. Um, but a lot of these other tools are built around that table diff. And then the other thing that you can do is you can truncate the subscriber, and then you can reinitialize the publisher. So you can reinitialize the, the publication and generate a new snapshot, really quickly go and truncate the subscriber, and what it'll do is it'll do full inserts again, which are super fast, because um, they're not deletes or updates, but the idea is by reinitializing it and generating a new snapshot, then of course you'll get the data. Now that may not be applicable in all environments because some people, as some of you may know, uh, some environments you can't do that in, so the table diff utility uh, may be more appropriate. If it's a huge table, that's probably going to be the best route. If it's a small table, uh, the table diff utility is pretty quick. I will warn you about the table diff utility though. If it's more than a million records, that is not going to be a very fast performing utility to run.